Pharrell Williams, or we should just call him Pharrell, has just released a new song. And our music reviewer, Charlotte Ryan, has had a bit of a listen to it. She joins me now. Charlotte, good morning. Good morning. I am so over happy. Well, that, that's what I think everyone is. It was the biggest selling single of last year. Why do they keep last... playing it, though, because if it they are? Because it was the biggest selling single of last year. It, like, it was huge. And yeah. now he's got a new one. And it's sort of like just really great. I know. And that's the thing with the song. You've <laughs> got to have a hook, but at the end, the hook bites you on the bottom. I know. It grates me too as well, I have to admit. I'm mm. very relieved we've got a new Pharrell Williams single. Is it? No, we're going to listen to a little bit of it in a moment, but this was released on that new Apple radio station. Yeah, so Beats 1. Um, they sort Should of... we be worried about that on Radio Live? No. No, gosh, it's no. Not gonna ch- it's not going to be anywhere Especially as good as this. The, the re- you know, the response of it. But people are kind of annoyed with it, especially this song. They said it was being played nine or ten times a day. Why are people annoyed with it? Because it's supposed to be the greatest thing in it's radio. It's supposed to be the greatest thing, but you don't want to hear the same song ten times a day. It's going to be the next happy if they hear this Why song. would they make that mistake, though, with this new radio station? Because this is the exclusive song that they've tried to... No one else had it. No one else had it. So they were like, well, you know. Apparently they played it twice in one hour. And the, so you they know, were when like, they first launched. we'll ruin this before anyone else gets it. Yes, mm. yeah, we'll do what all the other commercial stations do, but quicker and faster. OK, let's have a listen. This is Pharrell's new song. Is it even a song? Well, you're only, remember, you're only hearing a tiny, tiny bit of it. It is. I think it's. he's got another hit up his sleeve. He's a hit maker. Um, it's he's n- wearing a different hat in this one, too. <laughs> it is not as happy as happy was. It's a little bit more serious. Freedom, the lyrics are a lot more sort of serious. But I think it's going to be another hit. So can you even buy this yet? No. And the video clip has just come out, but we can't even watch it. You can only watch it if you go to Apple TV. Kanye's just tweeted about it in the last hour. Yeah. Oh, God, Kanye's tweeted Kanye. about it. What <laughs> He say? <laughs> he said it was sublime or something like that. What a twat he is, though. Well, he must be annoying old Jay-Z as well because he's pushing people to Apple and Jay-Z's got that other music, you know, streaming site. It's getting oh, all God. very political now, I don't now, even Paul. know. I don't yeah. even know. All right, so are you giving this a thumbs up or not? I'm giving it a thumbs up. I think Pharrell Williams is, is pretty awesome. Even though we're totally sick of his last single, this is the next big one. And is, he's 40 or something, isn't he? Yeah, he's like 42. He's like 42. And he's worked with amazing artists. Yeah, he's a very clever man. He produces lots as well. Yeah. Um, Hillary's counting the number of times I say like. Oh, right. Because apparently <laughs> I'm turning into a 15-year-old girl. Yes. Um, <laughs> saying like too often. Is that right, Hillary? Mm-hmm. Yeah, OK. Um, right, uh, your album of the week. So this is something, this is not necessarily an album, but this is something to add to our music collection if we don't have it. A classic album that you have to add to your collection if you don't have it already. It's Lionel Richie and the Commodores, the definitive collection. It was first released in 2003, and the reason why I'm bringing it to your attention is because it's the number one album in the UK at the moment. Really? Why? Because he played at Glastonbury last weekend. Oh, that's why. Okay. Yeah. I asked the question, which was legitimate, and you gave me a legitimate answer. But I just think it's so amazing. I mean, it didn't even go number one when it was released back in 2003, but he did such an amazing performance at Glastonbury. All the kids are now sort of rediscovering him. Okay, for the benefit of people that haven't, here it is. might be into it. He still sings that in concert. Oh, yeah. And people, and then he does this thing in concert. Have you ever seen him in concert? No. Lately? No. Okay, he does this thing where he says, um, okay, everybody, shall we dance on the ground? And everyone goes, <laughs> no! Should we dance on the walls? No! Should we dance on the ceiling? Yeah! They all go crazy for the Lionel. Oh. Um, I reckon he still has luck with the ladies, and he's how old now? Oh, I do know that, actually. I think he's 66. 66. Mm. His best days were with the Commodores. God, the Commodores were good. Yeah. All right, so the Commodores with Lionel Richie, the definitive collection, is your album of the week. Okay, uh, top five albums this week. Number five, New Zealand's most sold, uh, sold album, Jupiter Project. It's a um, local sort of dance project. It doesn't sound like the sort of thing I'd listen to. No. It's f- number four, though, Sam Smith and the Lonely Hour. Number three this week, the Quinn Tickies. This is a 1960s Mari show band. This is one of those awesome random albums that get in the and charts. And it happens, doesn't it? Yes. Like, who were those fools that were in the charts for oh, ages? Two what was Irish that? men, one that played What the, were they called again? The Irish Rope? No. no. something like that. No. You know, the stupid boys. <laughs> Foster and Allen. <laughs> 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 Yeah, so Foster and Allen have gone and they've been replaced by the Quintickies. But I actually quite like the Quintickies, that, that you should have a listen to them. OK, all right. Uh, Ed Sheeran, number two, and Jim Wigmore coming in at number one this okay. week. OK, do we like this new Jim Wigmore album? I need to hear it. They need to send it to us. Yeah, they need to. Oh, if they don't, we won't talk no. about it ever again. No. And we need 12 copies. All right, it's 10 minutes away from nine. Thanks, Charlotte. Coming up.